Hello guys, Epic Ninja Minecraft here, and welcome back to Undertale. It has been quite a few weeks for me since I've recorded. It is now summer. More specifically, today is Tuesday, July 5th. So, yeah. I would wish everyone a happy 4th of July, but, um, this is gonna come out way after that. Because episode 46 comes out tomorrow. So yeah, uh, seems like another elevator has lost its power. Okay, let's go this way then. Seems to be turned off. Let me guess this has the same thing. Yep. Okay. Let's go in here then. There's a thing. Activate the thing. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes. Now what? Oh. Oh. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Hi. Don't hurt me. Hey, stop. Oh, hi. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big uh, inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those uh, concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt, and lost what f physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no, ma how, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. Um, it's going to be hard. Being honest. Believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Okay. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Okay, can I turn the power on now? Oh, the power has been turned on. Okay. Let's go this way, then. Yeah, boy! Okay, now does this do something? Hello. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want it... Sorry, I want to be... Uh, I want to surprise him with it. There we go. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when, some, uh, when something without a soul gains the will to live. Oh my gosh, I know what that's talking about. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Oh, okay. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Tommy, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But... You've done well. Thanks to you, 
Everything has fallen into place. Well, this is not good, is it? Tommy, see you soon. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? I'm thinking that may have been a flowey, maybe. I do not know, though. Oh. Oh, okay. The door is jammed shut with fines. Well, that's not good. Um. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do now, to be honest. Am I supposed to go this way? I'm gonna go this way. Yep. Gonna go this way. And then this way. So quiet. Why is it so quiet? Rar. And now I'm here. Oh man. I'm just I'm just gonna go straight this way. I thought there might be something here, but I'm too lazy to check the rest of the house. So yeah. There's that. <laughs> Do I have to fight Asgore again? If so, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh well, let's just keep on going. Yep. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba da 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 <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Sorry, I had to cut a bit out because um, someone came to my room to talk to me real quick. But I am back. Okay, let's go this way. And here. Ah, such a long walk. Throne room. I'm actually going to check this way a little bit real quick. See if there's anything new over here. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Yeah, I already know about that. And there's nothing else. Okay, whatever. I'll go back then. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> Why is there a light on my phone? It is Tumblr. Go away. Okay. Yeah, the birds. It's a throne. Hello, throne. Now we're here. <clears throat> Once again. I guess I have to fight Ascor again? I don't actually know. Am I supposed to? Am I... Am I supposed to? I guess I have to, don't I? Well, I saved, so... There's that, at least. Oh, back so soon. What do you mean, back so soon? How are you feeling? Ready? Go pack. Well... I can't really go anywhere... So ready. I see. This is it, then. Am I doing this right? I don't feel like I'm doing this right. A strange light fills the room. Well, it is shining through the barrier. Oh, it's just this again. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, am I? You're filled with determination. Oh, he's talking. Hello. Human. Oh, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Um, okay. Maybe I was supposed to do this. <gasps> oh! Hello! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first... I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a ho horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. 
Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? I don't think I read that part right, but whatever. So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Huh, I wasn't expecting this. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Dot dot dot. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, uh, do you think we can at least be friends again? Sigh. No, Asgore. Hello, friend. Yeah, Asgore human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Doriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is this your ex? <laughs> is that your ex? <laughs> oh, he was crying. Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, you are another friend. I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. <laughs> Hey, nobody fight anybody. If anyone fights anybody, then I'll be forced to ask God Knight for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, you men. Did Asgore shave? I, I, I don't know. And clone himself. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. N the name's Sans, and, uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. <laughs> Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie, I can't believe Asgore's clone news for who I am. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles. <laughs> oh, a skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore, and I'm totally right about that fish thing. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to uh, stop going after free boss monsters and just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you too smooch already. The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alfie's? Uh, Alfie's? Dot, dot, dot. No, he's right. Let's do it. All the question marks. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then. <laughs> Don't hold anything back. I wish I knew how to just zoom in on a face, but I don't know how to do that, because I am an idiot. <laughs> just <laughs> Wait. Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. <laughs> I got a little carried away. Hee hee hee. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think... I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides the, her. Uh, anyway, 
If I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Wait, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower. Oh gosh. I will end you, Flowey.